This is Jason with Glitch in the System. We are going to be working on checking your balance. This is a quiz from the JavaScript section <coughs> of Udacity's front end, uh, front end web developer course. So basically what we have to do here is they've given us a flowchart and we need to turn this flowchart into code basis. And here's the starter code. Let's copy that. Um, I've gone ahead and created a JavaScript file just for me to work on in Visual Studio Code. I'm going to paste that in. So they've already gone ahead and given us the three variables that they asked us to use. So balance is active and check balance. So balance, you can tell it's a number. Check balance is a Boolean and is, act is active is also a Boolean. So let's go ahead and take a look at this. So using the ATM to check your balance. So no code needed for that. Um, first thing we want to do is check your balance. So if that is no, then we're going to dis display this message. If it's yes, then we're going to op open up all these possibilities. So what we're going to do is an if statement, then check balance. So we have two options here. You can do this is not equal or actually more than two options. So if check balance equals false, we can do that. Or as developers like to do, use less code. So if not check balance. So this means the same thing as what I just wrote. If check balance is equal to false or check balance is not equal to true. So they all mean the same thing, but as you can see, this is a lot less code. So if check balance is not, if not check balance, sorry, then we're going to display this message. So console.log and make sure you spell everything perfectly or else you will fail the test. So thank you. Have a nice day. That looks good. Don't forget that. And next thing we want to do is we're going to go into is account active and balance greater than zero. But you can see that we're going to have multiple options. So if check balance is true, then any of these three things could happen. So we are just going to do an else here and then we're going to wrap or, or put a nested uh, if statement inside of here. So if account balance is active, so, or sorry, if account is active, so is active, so if, if is active, and balance is greater than zero, so and balance is greater than zero zero. All right. So if it is, if it's true, then it's going to print this message. So console log your balance is dollar sign. And then we need to throw our variable in there. So balance and a period. Okay. Don't forget your semicolon. All right, so that's if it's true. If it's not true, then we're going to go check something else. So we'll do an else if is account not active. So uh, is active. And remember, remember our options. We can do is active equals false, or we can just do not is active. So if it's not, then we are going to console.log your account is no longer active period and then if that is not the case then we're going to do another one of these so if balance equals zero balance zero console.log your account is empty. All right. 
So let's take a look at this for a second. So this one is, is account active? This one is, is account not active? But this one just says, is balance equals zero? But we want to make sure that the account is active because if it's not active, it's going to hit this one and spit out that message. So we need to add is active to this one also. <coughs> so now it says is account active and the balance equals zero. Then we're going to print this one out. And if that doesn't happen, we're going to do this message. So else if your balance is not equal to zero, but your account is active, we're going to print out this last message. Your balance is negative, please contact bank, period. All right, so we got the coding done. I'm gonna save this real fast, copy it. Let's go ahead and test this out. So we're gonna wanna test every single scenario. So right now, what do we have in there? We have a balance of 325, is active is false and check balance is true. So let's just go through the first one. So check balance. So let's make sure that we can get to this first message if check balance is false. So test run. Thank you, have a nice day. So first test passes. All right, so everything else requires check balance to be true. So let's go to the next one. So is active needs to be true and balance is greater than zero, which it is. So we should get this message, balance is and the amount. Your balance is 325. And looks like we forgot to do something. So in the notes, they want this to be, to have decimals. So we need to add this to fixed to our balance. So right here, so I'm gonna throw that over here too. So I have it. And let's try that. So now that did not work. Oh, I forgot to add. So you need you need to put in the number of decimal the num number of digits you want after your decimal point. So let's try that again. So we want two. There we go. So three twenty five and zero zero cents. Okay. Next case is is active is false. Test run. Your account is no longer active. Perfect. And now we need this back to true for the next one. So is active is true and balance equals zero. So zero. Test run. Your account is empty. And I'm going to show you something. This is also going to be zero. So your account is empty. So either way works. Um, is active is true and balance is not equal to zero. So let's just throw a penny. Oh. And run that. Let's see what happens. Your balance is up one cent. So something did not go right. So this is not right. So balance not equal to zero. So we're looking for a negative balance actually. So balance is less than zero. Let's try that. Your balance is Oh, that's why. We need to change our variable up here. So let's just put a negative one. Your balance is negative. Please contact the bank. All right. So now we got everything fixed up. Let me fix it over here also just so I can save that. All right, and let's submit, see if it worked. Congrats, everything works. So that is the end of that. Uh, if you liked the video, hit the like button, uh, subscribe if you wanna see more videos like this, and until next time.